It's tax time and there are some things to know. The deadline to file 2020 state in Indiana and Illinois federal taxes was extended to May 17th. The IRS just released new information about more people getting $1,400. Terry Savage is here with some tax tips and to answer your questions. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, and I'm loving talking about the IRS giving away money. So bear with me while I give you these very big numbers that will be landing perhaps in your checking account uh, as soon as today. They say they're sending out 25 million more of the stimulus payments, the $1,400 economic impact payments. 24 million of those will go by direct deposit. Uh, 1 million will go by check. Uh, they total $34 billion. And this time around, if you've been waiting, people on Social Security have been waiting for their checks that don't file income tax returns. They're coming to you. They're coming to supplemental security income recipients. They're coming to uh, railroad retirement benefit people and veterans. All those people who get direct benefits from the government, you should start looking in your direct deposit account where you get those benefits or in your mailbox uh, for a check or a debit card starting as soon as today. So I think that's great news. I've got three more tips from the IRS, and I think these are important enough to spend a little time that we all hate talking about taxes. So the first thing is, you remember that $10,200 deduction uh, for unemployment benefits? Many people filed their tax returns, and before that law even passed, the uh, new stimulus plan, so the IRS has said they will automatically review your tax return, automatically send you back the money that you paid in in taxes if you filed early, so you don't have to refile. And then it may qualify you for other benefits because that lowers your income. So they will uh, top up your earned income tax credit if you already get that. If you don't get some of those credits, you might, after you get that, check back review and see if you might qualify for some credits. Nobody wants to review your taxes twice, but if there's money there. Okay, the second thing is a lot of people did not get the full $1,400 or even the full $600 in January because the IRS was using 2019 tax returns. But now they're reviewing your 2020 automatically, and they're going to give you automatically what they call a plus-up payment. So if you qualified for more because you had lower income in 2020, you don't have to file any more. They will go through your return, send you a letter, and send you an automatic check for the difference. And finally, I hate to see this happen. The IRS put out a big bulletin. $1.3 billion in 2017 tax refunds is about to go back to the Treasury because so many people did not file their 2017 return. Whatever reason you didn't file, do it now. May 17th is the deadline. It's also, as you know, the deadline for the 2020 returns because they say that the midpoint of those returns is almost $900 of those refunds that haven't been claimed. So if you didn't file back then, 2017, do it now because there's money out there waiting for you. How about that? All right, let's get to some viewer questions. This person says, I am behind on my real estate taxes and mortgage payments and HOA dues since COVID-19. Is there any assistance where I can apply under the American Care Act bill? Well, that was last year's uh, stimulus bill, and most of those benefits are running out. In fact, let's start with mortgages. Foreclosure prevention on federally insured FHA loans has been now postponed to June 30th, and of, uh, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is asking that the Congress, I mean, they're going to go forward with this, I hope, uh, prevent foreclosures until the end of the year. Otherwise, we're going to have a wave of foreclosures. So you're good if it's an FHA loan till the end of June, and you definitely want to contact your mortgage lender or servicer. You should be working out a plan. You should have already. Property taxes are another thing. That's, you know, your local county taxes. And although Cook County, for example, delayed penalties last summer for, for the bills that were due in July, and they said, well, there won't be a penalty if you get them in by October. Now we've got March payments that aren't being made. Now it's not just individuals. Some, some of the individuals are two and four flat owners. If the tenants aren't paying rent, how do they make their tax payments? Big corporations, the Hilton Hotel, the Drake Hotel, are behind on their property tax payments. I expect we'll get some something from Treasurer, Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas or other county treasurers because you could lose your house to a tax sale if you are not if you fall behind. Now they haven't had tax sales for a year or two. But I mean this is serious stuff. So 
I don't have any good advice for you, but there is nothing else out there. This the uh, Cook County has some help for utilities payments, um, so forth. Uh, the the, the um, also evictions are being delayed. So if you have tenants that are not paying rent but aren't being evicted, this cycles all the way back to how do we pay the police and fire if we don't get the property taxes? In other words, it's a huge problem. Stand by. Somebody's got to say something soon. All right, next question. I claim both my daughters, 19 and 21, on my taxes. The 21-year-old has received the stimulus checks, including the latest one yesterday, but my 19-year-old has not received any of them. Are 19-year-olds not receiving stimulus checks? No, no, no. 19-year-olds are the, receiving this uh, new round of $1,400 checks, and I'm interested that your older daughter got her own check or her own direct deposit. That might be because she filed her own tax return. You say you claim them as dependents, but if she filed on her own before you, she would have gotten hers directly. Your 19-year-old should come in a package with, uh, presuming you filed a joint return, your return, your spouse's return, and the 19-year-old. And now they're, they're still coming out. It's not just that we've now added Social Security recipients. There are still... Uh, $1,400 checks coming out to people. Maybe if you filed by paper, it'll take a little longer to get it. And watch your mail in case it comes in a debit card or a check. All right, next question. My children have federal student loans and private student loans. They don't make much money. Where is, best, where is the best way to combine them for one payment? And are the ones calling me about forgiveness worth it? Ooh, where to start on that? Um, uh, let's start with anybody calling you to tell you about how you can, for a fee, uh, combine your loans and, and get them paid off, that's a scam. That's a loan forgiveness scam. Number two, and this is a long story, so I'll make it short. Federal student loans are one thing. Private student loans are another. You don't combine them into one payment. Federal student loans have some benefits like deferral and forbearance and income-based repayment. Go to finaid, F-I-N-A-I-D, dot org and learn all about those student loans. Private student lenders like Sally May, which you thought was a government agency, but it's a private lender, Discovery, Discover, those are private loans. They have no incentive to refinance your loan if you're in trouble, and they have high rates. So unless you already have a job and an income and you can refi a private loan at Credible.com or SoFi.com, you're pretty much stuck with those private student loans. Go to finaid.org. Sorry, I should have said it correctly. Finaid, F-I-N-A-I-D.org, to learn all about student loan repayments and what your options are with both federal and private student loans. All right, thanks, Terry. You can check out terrysavage.com. Thanks. Let's check in with Anna around town. Hey, Anna.